सो हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार लेट्स सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन व्हाट्स न्यू टू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन व्हेन यू हैव आरएचएस इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन एंड कॉस बोथ सो हाउ टू सॉल्व बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव एनी फॉर्मूला सो टू गिव अ ब्रीफ we convert it either in terms of sine or in terms of cos alone and then as we all know that for sine ax plus b or cos ax plus b we have a method to find the particular integral so we solve that way but uh, first step is to find complementary function and rhs has no role to play in it so first find the complementary function then we'll come to this simplification so for that and this question can also be given in this form r minus this is s equals to sin x cos 2y this can also be given now how to solve this uh del 2z by del x square we write as d square and del 2z by del x del y we write as d d bar d d dash because del z by del x we write as d so this is d square and uh, basically this is d square z and this is d here we also have z so that z will uh, write at last so basically uh, for this or you can simply remove this z if you are facing any problem so this we simply write as d square this we simply write as d d bar okay so if you do so you will get d square minus d d bar operating on z equals to sin x cos 2y next step is to find your auxiliary equation and for that we replace d by m and d dash by 1 so if you do so you will get m square minus m equated to 0 so m m minus 1 equal to 0 so two values we are getting first one is 0 and second one is 1 so now you can easily write your complementary function which is f1 y plus m1x now 0 into x is 0 only so just f1y plus f2 y plus m2x so simply x so this is your complementary function coming to the particular integral before that i want to simplify this sin x cos y I don't have the habit of remembering the formula. So sine a cos b, as I can remember, that comes when you have sine a plus b and sine a minus b. So if I write sine a plus b, that I can remember as sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. And if I write the expression for sine a minus b, that is sine a cos b. Minus cos a sin b. If I simply want sin and cos terms, I will have to remove this. Simply add addition will do. So sin a plus b plus sin a minus b is equal to two times sin a cos b. Or if you want sin a cos b. This divided by two. Okay, so I can write for calculation of my particular integral one upon uh, d square minus d d bar, and this will be sine. Uh, okay, uh, I can take uh, do one thing. I can take this half out. Okay. And now, uh, sine of a plus b. A here is x, b here is two y. So sine x plus two y 
plus sign in the middle sin x minus 2y. I can separate this so my pi will be 1 by 2 common throughout 1 upon d square minus d d bar operating on sin of x plus 2y plus 1 upon d square minus d d bar will operate on sin of x minus 2y. So these are two different questions. Okay. Here ax plus by, ax plus by. In this case a and b are different. In this case a is same but b is different. So how do we solve this type of problem? We write d square as minus of a square and uh, d d bar as minus of a b. We also write if we have d bar square we write that as minus d square which is not there in this case. So we will use this substitution twice. So in first case pi will be half in place of d square put minus of a square. So minus of a square. d d bar put minus a b. So minus minus plus a b. a is 1, b is 2. Fine. And this comes as it is. Because I can see this is not 0. So I can write sin x plus 2 y here. Here plus sign. Again, d square to be replaced by 1 with the minus sign. Here, minus sign is there. d d by to be replaced by minus a b. Concentrate. a here is 1. b here is minus 2. a b here will be minus 2. And minus of a b will be 2. Minus a b you have to put in place of d d bar. So, minus a b is 2. You put that here and because this is not 0, so I can write this sign x minus 2. So this is 2 minus 1, simply 1, no problem. Here minus 3 is there, so minus 1 by 3, okay. And, uh, more simplification I will do in the final step. So z equals to cf plus pi is my final step. So z equals to cf plus f1y plus f2y plus x. What is my pi? Half will go inside. So half sin x plus 2y minus 1 by 6. Sine of x minus 2. That's it. So again, the game was simple to play. Once you know the rules of the game, rules where whenever you see this or you see this, from here come to here, you know the value of r, put that, you know the value of s. From here, Come to the world of D and D dash uh, using these substitutions. After that, again, come to auxiliary equation, replace capital D by M and D dash by 1. Find the value of M1 and M2. Complementary function F1 Y plus M1X, F2 Y plus M2X. In case it is repeating, you multiply X with the second one. Okay. Now, this I simplified earlier only. So, I know sine A cos B is this. Half came out. Uh, this uh, uh, sin X cos 2Y can be written like this. I separated it. So, two different things. So, this, how to solve this? Replace D square by minus of A square. D D bar by D D dash by minus of A B. And D dash square by minus of B square. These are the assumptions. So we use that assumption, denominator was not 0, so we are directly able to write this. More simplification, z equals to cf plus pi and finally z equals to cf plus py 
Ti is in front of E. So that's it. I think it's simple. You can easily solve this in a couple of minutes if you don't uh, do any silly mistakes. So that's it. Uh, in college examination, we usually get times. In some of the cases, paper are lengthy, but we usually get time so we can do this type of calculations in the exam. No need to remember the formula. That's it from my side. I hope you enjoyed this. Do watch my 3D playlist for more such problems. Thanks and have a nice day.